this is Alexandris here. So uh, today, I am going to show you the other casino games other than the popular Civil War that gave cheese game and traps and pieces. That's the first name. Well, anyway, to get started, first, I'm going to access my storage here. Take out play tickets I've got. You can also use play tickets. Uh, you can use basically one play ticket to play a round of bingo, but that would be a waste. Use your play tickets. For Sudoku and Sudoku only. Just wanted to be sure. All right, so first we're going to show you Bingo. That is also found in the Silver Oak Bottle. I think this week is what, Golden Week or something for Japan. There's a lot more players on it. I expect normally it's set to calm. Times like this, it's a good time to play some Sudoku. Okay. So we are going to go to the bingo. So, this is how it works. You basically spin these around for only a few turns. Looks like I'm waiting for the other players to get started. Sounds strange, actually. Hopefully this just goes right away. I don't see the point of having players. I'm going to try to do a solo table. I'm guessing there is some bonus for playing with others, but uh, since I'm just showing you this here for now. Okay. I'm going to just wait for the timer to count down and then we'll start. Well, I see now. So, it looks like... Uh, Let's try that then, actually. Looks like they're just waiting for enough players to sh come up on their sleep. All play bingo. Just 
there's a name right there. Looks like it's going on ahead anyway. Okay. So the point of this is again, I mean for sure maybe a plate bingo. You want to try to get as many lines as possible. Now, it's all R and G from here on out, which you can control after at least the first few turns. Already squares here. So once we've landed a few, all right, I'm going to go ahead and move them to try to predict the best outcome. This here. All right, nice. So now, if I land at eight, well, I'm doing that, whatever that is. Okay, cool. Now we get a twenty. Seems that other players get the uh, basically whatever's on the board, or they get lucky on their end and get bonuses, and we all get it too. So that's what it looks like. Okay, makes sense. So pretty much what I use user bingo tickets when there's other players playing as well, so everybody can get points. Nice, so close to eight. So I need an 8, a 19, or an 18. I get a 10, <laughs> pretty much.
believe that was to allow you to be able to select a number. But sometimes you'll get a bonus or buff based on your four, and you be able to get bonuses or you can select something. Killer Machine does like a portal attack on your four, highlighting those numbers. Generally, you only want to use your bingo tickets, just your bingo tickets for this. Don't ever, ever use your gameplay tickets, because you want to use those for Civil War only. Okay, we'll play one more time, and then I will show you guys another casino. Some people apparently already got three bingos. I'm not sure how they did that. It was kind of extremely lucky. Since, again, there is no control here. Thing you can't control is the first two turns at the beginning. After that, it's just all up to you.
Not a bad passive way to basically try to make some coin. You can even just watch Netflix or do something else while you do this. And you tend to get bingo tickets from uh, quite a few sources. I've got them from like the lottery, got them from doing the magic maze. Got them from treasure chests at the world, things like that. Alright, so and the thing is People mainly do this to get those little treasure boxes I've shown you in the previous video for Sodoroku to get those luck god medals. Because what those luck god medals do is allow you to fight a very easy boss that will award lottery and SP lottery tickets. And it's nice to do it with friends because each one can use their own coin. You can all get a gigantic amount of tickets in a short amount of time. And if you're friends with all these others and you get like the third rate prizes or higher, uh, that gives a special ticket to a random selection of friends. Okay, so now we are at the slime race. Every now and then they will hold a uh, annual slime race tournament that the top one. I think top like 10 or 50 winners, the ratings will uh, get like a million, three million gold, somewhere around that. And then the second prize, and the third prize goes to like that. And it's based on your ranking. So, the, again, first the top 10, then the top 50, then the top 200. So, when you first start this, you will be going to the training reception of Greta and PC here. You'll scout for a slime. My current one is this guy right here. Looks like those aren't translated right now. Those used to be translated. Uh, I guess they happen to uh, redirect everything clearly. So, when you're first starting out, You need to be pretty much complete these beginning courses. Yeah, these used to be translated. So, you don't have much direct control in the race. When you love when your monster levels up, when your racer levels up, all right, they get stat boosts that you can that you can uh, allocate. You get about three fruits, and every time you max out the fruit one, they go up a status rank. Wow, these aren't translated yet. Back yet. Uh, I'm not sure what the clarity team is doing. I guess they're still reworking this year with the expansion. Thus, I do not know what they plan to do. Uh, all the skills were translated, gave me an idea of what they were planning to do. So, we're pretty much looking at this. This tells you what each slime is planning to do at each one of these checkpoints. And since my own stuff is not translated either, <laughs> I do not know what they'll do. I believe I want this. And then it's really up to luck. My slime for uh, stamina and speed above all else. Uh, the knights, the slime knights, seem to be pretty popular. I've heard they're the best right now. But 
That's what I've seen on the community discussion. And I've been having some pretty good luck with them so far. So let's see if you can see. Also, this is free. No tickets or coins are needed to play. The coin payout gets better once you're in the higher end races, I believe. It looks like uh, I can only give two feeds now, so great. Just fine. Uh, top one, I believe, was speed, and the second one was stamina. No, I think the top one was stamina, actually. The second one was speed. Bottom one was MP. I think the third one was jump. Jump basically determines how well they'll uh, react. If they see like a trap or something that's in the way caused by another opponent, and it'll determine if they're going to jump over. Jump is also like a speed boost, and it also determines how often they do it. Thankfully, once this stuff is translated again, I'll be able to decide what to put on at any point. Since it's not translated or retranslated yet, I'll just choose to skip it for now. Okay, let's beat the master for the moment. See, if I knew what that skill was, if it was useful, I'd be able to use it too. Have it up MP for me. He's not one of this one. That was some bad luck. It would definitely help if I could read those skills. Ouch. Last place. But that's the end of it, really. It's all based on luck, and we got the skills set right. But, uh, Serenity hasn't gotten around to giving clarity to translate these again. I really don't know what spells I'm setting anymore. So hopefully they will set it again soon.
basically also a passive skill on him that allows him to recover his stamina back up quickly. So as long as it's not getting completely screwed by RNG, win. So that's not jump. B must have been stamina. <sighs> well, it's not like he needs much stamina anyway for passive. That. Now it's an easy, it's a simple, short way to basically gain some casino points. You mainly do it just to raise a slime up, so that way you can attend the Astolitia totally to, totally Cup once it's available. It is, we'll be facing off against other players, obviously, but it's for a chance for a lot of casino tokens and a lot of money. And that is it. Uh, there are other casino games in here. I believe they are let and slots. These are basically staples you all probably seen before in other Dragon Quest games. And they generally are well, you bet coins to try to earn more coins. And it does get quite a bit of an audience. So people do play it. But that is it for the uh, casino games. If you have any questions, let me know in the Discord. If you want to join my Discord, uh, the Discord link is down below. Again, feel free to comment in case uh, anything's wrong with my Discord link. Thank you and have a good night.